The last app we have to create is the buyers or partners app that we need. So let's uh, add app, create your own app, call this buyers, and the item, each individual item will be called buyer. Create a new thing, get a new icon, person, that works for me. I always prefer to use a table. Now in this case for buyers, a badge might be useful, but I'll, I'm going to stick with table. Now let's create app. Now we're going to create our fields. The first field we most likely want is a contact field get all the contact information for the buyer, the email address, which is most important for this for this Podio uh, lead management process that I'm setting up. You can ask to create add phone number and everything. So for this contact, we also have to change a setting. We have to pick a contact type. If you're just doing an individual contact for a specific item, we want to just use workspace contacts. We don't want members involved in any of this because if you create a contact and you share it then the members might get access the leads might get access to this Podio app and you don't want that so we'll take workspace contacts only done and now see this contact handles the name and everything so we just have to create a target area text field make that single line and I also like to add in category field and name it counties this is basically a duplicate of this one in a sense I'll explain later so here we'll add in the different counties Bergen and that's pretty much all you need I like to add in a notes field which is just a standard text field and it'll be multi-line so that should be it done and now I'll show you what each field is purpose is for so let's click add buyer call this add new contact Johnny buyer I don't care about the job titles, email address, say johnny at email.com, phone number 999-888-7777. You also have the option to add some more information if you have the Skype, the website, their mailing address, and there's also a notes field in here too. We, won't, we don't need any of that stuff. You can add a photo if you like, if you have a photo of the person. Most likely not, but grab it from their Facebook page. Who knows? So I'm set with just the name, phone number, and email address, which is the most important because at the end of the process, we're going to auto-email this person the leads that come in. So let's save. And now we have to pick the counties that they, uh, they work. So let's say Sussex, Cumberland, Warren. Oop. See, now this is a good lesson. I only have this set up to be a single selection category. So let's modify template and make it a multi selection. So we click this option, multi choice. And then done. So now I can select Sussex, Cumberland, Warren, and Camden. Now, the difference between the target areas field and the counties field is that. The target areas field, no, actually, I think I named this wrong because in the later videos, this is going to be called counties and this is target areas. So let me switch that up so I don't confuse you for later on. This is counties, target areas, and done. So I'll go back and explain. Target areas is every county that this buyer works in or is targeting. Now in my process I may have 
10 different partners or buyers and some of them overlap but I don't want them I don't want the, to share leads with multiple buyers since I have individual deals with each wholesaler in the different counties so that they have exclusive rights to that county so I don't want Johnny and Chris to, they both work Sussex to get a lead that comes in from Sussex I just want Johnny to so this counties field is where I put the county name for the person who I want to send the leads to. So for Johnny, I'll put Sussex, and say for Chris, I'll put Cumberland only, because I have in, I have a different buyer, different wholesaler agreement with someone from Sussex, Cumberland, Warren, and Camden, and this way it separates it all. And then in, when we set up the Globe flow workflow. I'll be checking this field for the existence of the county name. So if it's Sussex, then Chris or Johnny will get an email. Hope that makes sense. It's a little confusing until you actually see it and see it work out. But if you have any questions, you know you know how to reach me. It's Scott at strugglinginvestor.com. And that's pretty much how you set up the uh, buyers slash partners app in Podio. If you have any questions, again, scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.